Dun 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 What up, double fans? This is Sean Long of the Transformers Matrix, bringing another Terminator Salvation movie toy review. This time of the Terminator Salvation 6 inch T700 RIP. The T RIP doesn't have a rest in peace, even though that all of Skynet and the machines want us to rest in peace. Ma ha ha ha. It actually stands for Resistance Infiltrator Prototype. Now besides from Arnold, this guy is the face of the Terminator. This is, uh, even though Arnold was the T-800, the T-700 was the first step into getting um, Skynet's more uh, human looking uh, machines or the Terminators as we'll come to know them. This is like the foot soldier guy. And the detail that Flamence has put on this is pretty good. Uh, NECA is more better when it comes to uh, the Terminator toys, but Playmates, um, you can see all the... Compared to the other T700 toy out there, this is the classic, more chrome silver looking. And you can see all the lines. There's also a bolt hole right here, which is really nice. And you can see all the joints and the pivots. All here, all the little cords. Um, the detail on it is actually really good. Um, and it should be for a $10 figure, especially compared to the 3 and 3 4 fins. So I definitely really like it a lot. Also, there's uh, just like Transformer toys, uh, there's a little uh, light piping right here. So if you put a light shining through it, it definitely gives it that nice red glue, which is very, very cool. What the hell? Why are you naked, soldier? Put on that puny human skin now! No! For articulation now, this is where the figure suffers highly. There's no head articulation. The arms can go up and down, but because of these uh, wires right here, they can rotate 360 degrees. They can go in and out, and they can bend at the elbow. It does have waist articulation, but because of the way it's made, anytime you move it, it goes right back. So it kind of has like a punching accident if you, you know, want <laughs> to get the most out of your money. The legs can go forward and back. It can bend at the knee, and the feet can rotate 360 degrees. So, and also because of the ball joints here, it does have good posability. It looks like it would be balanced, but it actually poses good. But the articulation is definitely not as, as good as it could be. For accessories, um, the T700 uh, RIP comes with a futuristic blaster. It's just in a very bronze color. Um, pretty, pretty good detail on it. It has like a hole right through it. Uh, it fits nicely in his hand. It also comes with a lead pipe. It's actually really reminiscent of the first Terminator movie where um, Kyle Reese used a lead pipe on the T-800 uh, or 700 to uh, fight the Terminator. So but that's cool. And also there's a lot of good uh, detail marks on this pipe. Which Did you win the lead pipe, soldier? What you gonna do? You think you're gonna hit me? I am the governor that you can't hit me. The last thing that only the uh, six inch figures come with, it comes with this nice train card. You can see the T700 has a nice picture on it. The back has more detail about it. It says the prototype for Terminator John Connor knew was coming. The Fierce Learning Cybernetic Machine. Um, talks a little history. So this is made from top. Size comparison time. So here you can see the six inch uh, T700 uh, RP grade scale with the six inch um, Sarge Trek. Kirk as well as six inch Marvel Legend figures like Wolverine. Playmates, uh, for especially 10 bucks, you'd think that for articulation it would be a lot better. I mean, you come with two accessories and a card, but I would hope that you would get some sort of gimmick or something out of this. I think Playmates could do a lot better with these figures. The three and three fourth inch figures are definitely very disappointing. This one is not that much better, especially for posability. I recommend if you're going to get anyone, definitely get this one. He's the best one, it's been especially since we've seen this uh, character throughout all the Terminator movies. If you're not as big Terminator fan, I would just not, re not recommend getting any of the Terminator toys. They're, uh, they're just very disappointing, but yeah, this guy is could definitely at least work out as a cool display piece and do some sort of poses, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like, and it's Sean Long, we're all now. Thank <laughs> you.